Hello and what's up everybody, this is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this tutorial we are going to learn about uh, the very special tool, um, the inspector tool. So an uh, inspector tool helps you to debug your codes and it helps you to see the how the DOM trees means a bunch of line of codes and uh, how a website is designed and all the steps uh, on a website you can just uh, see what the properties and the styles that the website includes by using the inspector tool so i'm going to show you how to do that so for that open up the open up your browser as you can see i have opened up a doc an html file in my browser so as you can see i have included a, a image over here and a heading one tag over here okay guys so what i want to see uh they I don't know that what are what are the properties, what are the elements I have used in this browser, in this web page. So if I wanted to know uh, that what are the elements are included in this web page, so what I can do just I can just right click over on the map web page and find the inspect element and just click on this, and you will uh, console panel will open on your web page only, okay? In which you can see uh, it is divided into two parts, it is separated into two parts. First is your HTML part and second is your CSS styling parts. So what you can do, so now you can see in our body tag that I have created a uh, div tag with the class name container and I have created a, another div tag with the class name gallery. And I have included one image over here and one h1 tag over here. So what you can do is you can, uh, I'm gonna make changes over here. So an uh, inspector tool helps you to make a live changes on your web web uh, web page so what you can do is you can just come on the styling part over here and you can by checking or unchecking the properties you can see the changes on your uh, web page so if i uncheck my border one then you can see the live changes over here my border got disappeared and similarly if i uncheck my browser you can see my browser just vanished <laughs> and if i want to make changes over here then i can just make a live changes by using this uh okay okay so this looks pretty good so what you can do is if you have make any changes in your style and you want to add this style into your uh styling uh, in, into your css file you can just uh, select this part the styling part and just right click over it and copy the file copy your code and open up the visual studio code go to the styling part and just change it whatever changes you have make and save the file and just go to the web, web, web browser and refresh it as you can see now my styling was changed over here permanently so in this way you can uh, make live changes on your web browser uh, by using the your inspector tool uh, two or three days before a guy just asked me how uh, how a margin property works and all so I decided to include that property in this video only so as you can see over here I have included uh, sorry as you can see in my div class I have the class with Gal uh, div tag with class name gallery I have included a margin over here margin property over here so I'm going to make live changes uh, which will help you to know how a margin works so as you can see my one person decides over here the height of your margin means from top to bottom and this will decide your width width part means from right to left or left to right so what can you do if you can see i have raised my 800 parts so I, if i choose 10 pixel then it shifts it towards 10 pixel towards the right size and if I choose 100 and it choose it 100 if I choose 500 it don't look good it don't look good okay as you can see over here 800 look good oh, sorry guys I have pressed the control s button you don't have to press the control s button for saving you, it directly save over here so now let's just move on to the uh, next part and now we're gonna change the uh, h1 we're going to make changes in our h1 element so i'm gonna 
add some different properties over here what is I'm gonna add some font family for example sans serif okay yeah sorry guys sorry for that guys because I usually press ctrl s after writing a code so it's just again and again happening with me and now I want to uh, increase this font size to something 50 pixels I guess okay and now I want to remove this part from here uh, I want to make and changes in margin left so I'll change it to 80 not it didn't work 100 nah 250 300 okay ah uh, sorry 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 guys for that so as you can see over here I have made a changes over here and you can see the live changes over here so if you want to uh, make these changes in your uh, in your files you can just copy this uh, and go over your styling part and make changes over here so I'm just going to paste over here and saving the file and just going to reload my web page and all the changes are over here okay you can see over here all the changes are now is visible to you and if you want you can change your color of your h1 tag from here so I'm gonna change it to okay for any color for you I'm going to change an example now so in this way you can use the inspector tool for debugging your codes or uh, checking the element styles and all the things so this uh, that's all in this video guys I hope you like this tutorial and if you do so comment and subscribe our channel for more more videos in future thanks for watching guys